today we're going to talk about getting files as well as getting folders and some of the properties that go with them. So let's go ahead and start on this. What we're going to need is um, our scripting.file system object. So go ahead and set that up. And also off of that, it's going to say get file. And then in here will be the path to your file. So here is the file I'm going to be using test dot text document. Now I can write out C users during your desktop and write out the full path of this, but because it's in the same location, we can actually just use uh, the relative path to this file. And that just means if these are in the same directory, you can just put the name and it'll know what you're talking about. Alright, so we set this up. Now we want to use properties of get file. So we can, like, say, run these directly off of here, or we can um, set this also up to something. So let's say object file and then use this to get a property of this file right here. So for example, let's say I want to know the size of this document. So I just type in size right here and I can go ahead and even put that in a message box so you all can see. So let's go ahead and save this and run it. And notice I get a 6 here which means this file is 6 bytes big. So we open this indeed uh, well, with text documents anyways, each character as well as each space is a byte. So there is six characters in here, including the period. So that would make sense. And if we go ahead and right-click and click on Properties, notice right here on the size, it'll say six bytes. So if we pick a bigger, a bigger document or another type, say a picture right here, let's change this to this picture and also get this size of that. So this one is looks like 43,155 bytes. And again, we can go ahead and just look and verify that that is exactly how much. All right, obviously um, there's more than just the size property. There's quite a few more. So um, I went ahead and wrote up all the main ones right here. And if I go ahead and edit this, I'm gonna edit this in a, a little program I have a more advanced editor. I hope you all don't mind too much. Um, but basically, what I'm doing is just, uh, you know, displaying, having data equal all these different things. So I'll say what it is, and then I'll have our little attributes. So now this, here's a size one, file dot size. So this file is up here, and it's set to get this file. So we're talking about this current file right now. So here is a list of a few of them and I'm just setting them all into this data so I can just display it real quick. Alright so let's go ahead and run this right here and now you'll see all the the main properties of this file right here. So attributes it says 32 and we'll get into the attributes but basically um, all that's saying is which attributes here's the attribute is applied. So if we go to advanced notice these two are clicked and such and that will affect which attribute is showing. And um, each attribute has different numbers and like say, I'll get into that in the next lesson. Um, then we have date created, so this will tell us when it was created. Date last modified, which means the last time I edited this text document. Um, which drive it's in, it's in drive C. And I'll go ahead and also show this while I'm doing this so you can see which one goes with which. So name is just the name of the document. Parent folder is the folder that it's in, and this won't include the name text document, but the path will. So this shows the entire path to the file, how what how big it is, so five bytes, and also what type it is, and it's a text document. Alright, so those are the main file ones. Uh, folder works the same way. So if we go ahead and reopen up our basic one I showed here, all you're doing is changing this to folder. And like say, putting a folder name here, I have a folder over here. So let's use again uh, the relative path to that. And then size, we can do that. So let's go ahead and save this and run it. And I'm going to say this says 7. So if we go ahead and right click on this, go to properties, indeed it's 7 bytes. Okay, and like before, I went ahead and also wrote a, a more advanced form of the main attributes this has. And if you'll notice, they're all about the same. There's only a few different ones, uh, which would be these two, actually. And we'll talk about those again in another lesson because they're not something you can display, really, um, how we're doing this. So let's go ahead and run this. 
And now you'll see the folder attributes is 16. The date created, we'll see the date last edited. Also, the drive it's in, the name of the folder, path, full path, and size, and then also the type, which is a file folder. All right, so these two, why am I, am I not showing these? Well, this will get all your files in your folder, right? And we kind of need a loop or something to be able to retrieve all those and put those in some kind of collection, you might say. So, but that's just going to have you be able to get the files that are inside that folder. This will let you get the different folders inside your folder. So if there's another folder in here, say so we just create a new folder, this would be a subfolder to this folder right here. And um, I'll be creating a, another lesson separately for that. Um, just to show you how to get all your files. But that's it. Um, I'll put these in the description so you can easily get certain attributes or certain properties, I should say, out of each file and folder that you need. Today we're going to talk about getting files as well as getting folders and some of the properties that go with them. So let's go ahead and start on this. What we're going to need is um, 